body language analyst Scott Rouse is with us now. Scott, thank you. You think all of the trolling of Katie Britt and the making fun of her uh, was fair? If you're gonna if you're gonna put yourself out like that, I think anything is fair at that point because it was it was, it was a little rough, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that would be a, an understatement, perhaps, but a, a generous analysis. Was she just overcoached? Was is she naturally sort of this way, and the way her voice was affected, and the way her movements and facial expressions were so affected? Is that natural? No, nothing in there, nothing we're seeing there from a body language perspective shows us any real emotion, any true emotion. The expression she's showing, those are all, those are all put on. It's, it's, it's just bad acting is all it is real in a nutshell. Because there, when she's supposed to be showing grief, we're not seeing any engagement in the, in the brow or the forehead. And you could say, oh, it's Botox and all that, but you still see a little bit when that happens. This is just, she's just not acting very well. She's not a good actor is all. What about the the when she sort of went and she kind of got very almost like whisper aggressive against Joe Biden? You, you, you've obviously watched people who are trying to hide their emotions and hide their body language. Was she trying to hide something or was she almost sort of trying to be over emphasizing of things? She's doing what she thinks it would if someone was being uh, aggressive towards someone and it's just me and you talking. That's it's like that one on one thing. That's what it's like. But we know that's not uh, genuine is real because there are when her emotions change from one emotion to the next emotion, they just change like a switch where those should actually morph into each other, you know, semi slowly. Hmm. When you go from really happy to really mean or really angry, there should be this morphing thing. But so these are just points she's hitting. She's reading this as she goes along. She's rehearsed this, I, I would say, a hundred times probably wow. in the mirror. Yeah, that's wow. what you look like. Fascinating. All right. Um, speaking of people who rehearsed things, you might think, mm -hmm. was the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson's sitting behind Joe Biden the whole time. Obviously, the two disagree on just about everything. And Mike Johnson didn't talk at all. And I'm wondering what you right. made of, you know, there was, the, there was the big eye roll, but then there was sort of this grimaced look on his face of just shaking his head. What did you make of those? He showed a lot of, of different expressions in there. And I think they they didn't look fake. They looked like uh, sincere, true uh, emotions from a facial expression point of view. There's a lot of contempt, a lot of anger. Uh, we see this a lot, compressed lips or what I call stress mouth when they go like that. That that indicates there's a whole lot of stress happening. So when you see that, when when you see compressed lips or the lips disappear, then you know there's an issue there. So it, it's one of those things where he's he's... He's transmitting what he thinks about things because he's supposed to be doing that. You know, he's he's on one side of, of the fence and they're on the other side of the fence. So he's just transmitting what he thinks about all that because he's being viewed just as much as the president is being viewed almost as much. Yeah, and he can't actually um, say anything. There was a yeah. moment before the speech, right, um, mm -hmm. where Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, who's a protagonist and you know, obviously uh, has her sort of the her theatrics or her thing. She got in place to confront President Biden about Lake and Riley, a 22 year old woman who was killed by an illegal immigrant. Take a listen to the audio. And then I'm wondering what you make of President Biden's body language when it happened. Take a listen. Okay. <laughs> What'd you make? Well, I think there's so much going on. He's not even, he, he looks like he's not even aware of what's happening. I mean, he may have locked eyes with her, but there's no reaction uh, from a body language perspective okay. that lets, that tells you anything really. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.